everyone, Moshe, the electric Israeli, and today is our second video of my experience renting a Cybertruck on Turo. All right, so we're gonna go to a friend's house to pick up drum sets, all right? And then I'm gonna drop it off somewhere. So as you know, if you drive the, the newest Tesla, you go like this is drive, you press and hold is park, and if you go like that, it is a reverse. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in reverse and then I'm gonna go visit my friend. And at the end, I'm gonna see the uh, the miles. The I mean, the range, the actual range. Uh, so we're starting, actually I'm in kilometers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. We don't, we don't, wanna, we don't want the cameras. All right, we want this. And we're going to, all right, so which camera do I want? I want the the uh, back camera. Anyway, we, there's no um, there is no uh, mirror. The guy the guy took it off the inside uh, mirror. I'm using the side. You can put a mirror right here. I mean the uh, the back mirror right here. It's a camera. Okay, and I, I I'm going to figure out how to do it. Uh, later on, it's no big deal. All right, one thing I can tell you right away: the guy put the car on chill mode. Okay, one thing I can put, tell you right away: that the steering wheel, this is steer by wire, and it is amazing. This is amazing. We're gonna do experiments in the parking lot, making U turns and all that stuff, but this is amazing, amazing, amazing thing. I cannot tell you. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this uh, turn, all right? So instead of, look at this, a little tiny turn and, you, and, and you're done. The steer by wire is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Especially if you wanna make tight turn. Now the, the, the back wheels uh, turn slightly more when you in slow, in very slow um, uh, speed, but it is unbelievable. So we're gonna get to this uh, stop sign, and we are, you know, it's like it's like you barely have to touch the steering wheel. You will not go full circle. You will not go first full circle, no matter what. So that is an incredible, incredible uh, feature of the steer by wire. It's a very, very good idea. All right, so we're gonna go on the open road. We're gonna punch it a little bit. Okay, I'm in kilometers. I'm sorry. Let me do it for you in um, in uh, miles, so it's more familiar. Miles in Fahrenheit. Okay, so 219 uh, miles. We started with 220. We're gonna take this sharp. Okay, oops. I do not. I mean, I do not want to get in a car accident. But if I, if God forbid, I get in a car accident, the other guy is not gonna come out well at all. All right, so here it is, it's like 37. I'm gonna punch it a little bit, but you see it's in the chill mode. And that's how the guy left it, in the chill mode, not in the standard mode that it's gonna go faster. I'm not gonna do like a, a zero to 60 a test, whatever, it's not my car. I, I'm very respectful for other people's cars. So I, I don't wanna do any any of these things. Now I can, I can tell you right off the bat, it is a humongous beast. The screen is amazing. It's like, I think, what's 19 inch or something, or 17 inch. Um, uh, the visibility is great. I mean, I, like I told you, he took the the the, uh, the mirror. For, uh, for, you don't need it, I'm, I'm using the side mirror. You can have that little mirror. Maybe I'll do it in the next ride. I'll put it up so you can see it, but you really don't need it. The side mirrors really cover who's in the back of you. And you can always do this, you see? You can always do this. So it's not, not a problem. I don't like it. I never liked it in any of my Teslas. So I never use that, but uh, it is great. Now, in terms of, let me just tell you something. This is a Tesla. Tesla Teslas are very fast cars, right? But you can see that the motor to get this going, like I'm doing now, I mean, you can hear a little whine of the whine, like he's whining, uh, of, the, of the motor to move this absolute beast onto the road. It, it is un, unreal how much power this dual motor, there's a tri-motor. Now, I don't, I know that there's a, gonna be um, 
uh, um, what do you call it? It's going to be um, uh, op a single motor option. There's not going to be a single motor option. Forget about it. Don't order it. It's never coming up. That's, it's all crap. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's going to be dual motor and tri motor. Now, this is the foundation. I have one on order. I can figure, I configure it right now. Two reasons I'm not doing it. A, because I don't want to pay all this extra money. It's ridiculous. It's like $100,000 and that one's 120000 dollars Okay, we're going to wait until prices come down and they will. Soon. All right, so that's number two. It happens to be in my family situation that I don't need the car, but I will in a year and a half when my one of my Tesla's leases come out. By the way, this is the key. This is the key, and I put it right here. Uh, obviously, you can use an app if this is your uh, if this is your car. So again, I know I told you that uh, a couple times already, but I cannot tell you how awesome is the steer by wire. Now the steering wheel is very small, very very small. It's like a yoke and a rectangle all together but and obviously there are no stocks here it's like the newest test like, except for the model y as at this point so there are uh you know everything is on the steering wheel and you get used to it very very quickly there's no no it's very little learning curve you very quickly especially the the blinkers that's what you use most of the time the blinkers so it's, it's on the steering wheel on the left thumb and it is fine everything else if you drive a tesla this is a Tesla. You get used to it very quickly. Now, I would like to go off-roading and all that, but I'll do it with my own uh, uh, Cybertruck. So that is going to be um, uh, what I'm gonna do, but that's gonna be later on. Again, it's my car. I don't want to uh, do anything that I'm not supposed to. All right, so here we go again. Very, very small, very small turn of the wheel to to uh, drive now we're gonna go on the highway later and check it out uh, here it is if if you press the the right uh, rolly button it will go into cruise control okay you see that and then you can go up and down in the color in the miles uh, depending on your speed so you can flick it up by five miles and bring it down by one mile at a time just like any regular Tesla but you still are, you are the driver so it just has a, a cruise control and that's that. So uh, we're gonna go to my friends. Like I said, I'm gonna pick up a, a drum set, okay? I am a amateur musician. I play all kinds of instruments and I love it. And, um, and uh, we're going to take it onto a highway, see how it does. And I have to tell you, my neighbors stop to talk to me at the supercharged people come. This is an attraction. My neighbor came and asked me, what is this? If you think, now we Tesla fans live in our ecosystem. If you think that people know what this is, most people don't even know. She's like, what is this? She didn't even know it's a Tesla. So what I'm saying, uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot uh, uh, to learn about, about Tesla Cybertruck. And it's gonna be great success already about 12,000 of them were uh, delivered and there's more coming so as you see I live in a rural area and the roads here are very small and very tiny and it's great and I love it it's very very nice in here okay guys so I'm gonna pick up the drums and then we'll pick it up afterwards and then we'll go on the highway hey right, everyone we are back uh, I'm gonna get out of this parking lot uh, as I told you I dropped off my um, my uh, drum set and now we are going to go on highway highway 80 for a little bit just to see how it goes in in a highway and that will be our uh driving uh, experience i'm going to tell you a few words once we get on the highway to see how it feels and we're going to do extensive exterior and then interior and then u-turns and all that stuff i'm going to try to take it to a car wash and uh of course charging and all that and real world range we have a lot to talk about in the few next few videos and let's see how because i saw a lot of videos on highway driving again like i told you it does have only cruise control it does not have um it does not have a uh, uh, autopilot or full self drive even though that's what you get when you get the foundation so there's a perk to get the foundation and um I can tell you, now that I drove it for a few hours, 
uh, this huge, huge, uh, I think the biggest windshield ever in a, in a, in a pickup truck is so deep. I mean, there's no way you can, you can even get near it. I don't know how you clean it. You have to cl climb on top and clean it. I really like this accessory that the owner of the car has. This very nice accessory. Uh, you can put your phone and you can put whatever you want. So we're gonna go on Highway 80. As you know, Highway 80 goes from New York City to San Francisco. It will take you a week, a week to, to do that, but that's what it is. So again, I said it very, already 20 times. The steer-by-wire is revolutionary. All right, so even though the car is in chill mode, uh, it does pick up quickly. I'm on kilometers and below is the miles. So I'm gonna tell you about the miles. And uh, I am going to put it in um, cruise control. All right, it's set up to a hundred, to a, I'm sorry. I, I'm so used to driving, I, you know what just happened? I'm so used to driving on FSD that I thought I'm an FSD, but no, I'm not. So uh, the car is set up for uh, 105 kilometers, which is 65 miles an hour, and I'm gonna keep it like that. Uh, the owner um, set it up to 132 kilometers per hour, which is 82 miles per hour. So the cruise control is adaptive. So now I'm gonna move a lane, and I, I'm practically not touching the steering wheel. That, this is incredible. I, am, I barely touch the, the, the steering wheel. I just, you know, a little tap to the left, to the right, and it moves. Now, you have to get used to it, but it's really not a big deal. So, uh, let's go back. Let's go back a lane. Look, look at my, my hand. Nothing, I, I'm barely touching it, barely. All right, so it is unbelievable. Okay, so if we look at some stats we have, I guess I got it at 75%. So since it was charged, it drove 55 uh, kilometers. Uh, it's uh, about close to close to 40 miles, okay? getting on 40 miles. And, and we'll do all the numbers at the end. So we'll see how it, the full numbers and one hour per mile and all that stuff. So it is, the visibility is really great. And I don't have to worry about looking at a mirror here and all this obstruction, I just look at the outside camera and it's great and the right and left, left and right mirrors are humongous and they are wonderful. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Many more are coming. I will talk to you about the, the Turo experience. I told you I rented it from somebody, very nice guy. Uh, and I'll tell you how much I paid for this 24 hour pleasure, but that's gonna be, a, video later you're gonna have to come back to my channel to see that video and how it, the tour experience was I right, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in my next video